Hello everyone. Today we will be unboxing a Coach Willis 18, the little Coach Willis summer, spring summer 2020 release in the three colors they have just released. The, <laughs> bluntly speaking, the yellow, the white, and the blue colors. The first release was uh, I believe it was fall 2019. Help me get into this box, everybody. Okay, there we go. So we will be unboxing the three of the Willis 18 second round little crossbodies. Sorry, I forgot to show you how it looks. This is how all of them came in. Okay. This is one. This is two. And this is three. We have a bunch of stuffing paper. I'm gonna put all uh, put away to the side. I also got my uh, kind of like a warranty card, I guess. And that's the end of that. This is my receipt, and I believe care cards are inside of each of these bags. Okay, so let's open this bag. Hmm. This is the first one. Gorgeous. Bluebell. Burnished. Color. Willis 18. Style number is 89225, retails for $350. It is currently available on the coach.com website. Let's take some of this packaging out. Lots of packaging. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. It's like those makeup palettes when you get to peel that <laughs> little sticky layer off of your mirror. Oh, yeah. It's like that only many times over because look at all the packaging. Coach is amazing with their packaging. I just love it. I don't even know what it's for. Like, why is this there? Why is this there? We don't know, but it's there. Okay. There's one in the back, too. Alrighty, so this is a really gorgeous, I, will, I would like to say, hmm, it's like a slate blue color, if you can tell. It's a slate blue or like a periwinkle without the purple. <laughs> it has a, let's see, I don't know what kind of hardware it is. Uh, I can't, I don't understand. I don't understand what it says, but here we go. I want to call everything black copper, but I'm sure it's not right. And let's take a look inside. Whoopsie. It is our usual, usual pockets. There's a one big pocket in the front. There's a big pocket in the back. Lined in their jockward cotton. Right there. Everything else is leather lined. And it's uh, glove tint leather. Genuine glove tint leather. Everything. Oh, here we go again. This is Midnight Navy and this is Bluebell. Okay, Midnight Navy and Bluebell. The back. As we all know, features a full-length pocket. 
lined in midnight navy leather. This is our gorgeous little hang tag. And you know what? Hang tag is lighter colored than the bag. I would not be able to tell you what color this is, but it looks like a really beautiful sky blue compared to the rest of the bag. You know what? I really do like the burnished leather detail. It's just darkening. It's just a darker edge throughout the whole bag. And I think it gives it something extra. Because usually regular retail bags by other retailers, by other brands, they don't really have that. I mean, it's just... You see that? This is just something special. special. Whew. And we do have our strap as well. It's a regular block tent leather strap. Uh, let's go ahead and open the next color. I think this is chalk. Look, at this cool baby is on its side. All right. They all come with this perfectly matched in size dust bag. And uh, there is a difference between between the 1941 and the regular Coach New York line dust bags. 1941 is cotton. Okay. And it's cotton. It's more of like a canvas cotton. Can you tell? Uh, 1941 bags are silky. They're silky satin bags. They are thinner. They are very slippery. They're not good, they're not worse than this. It's just a different type of a bag, okay? They're both meant to serve its purpose, which is protect your bag from dust and allow the leather to breathe through the bag. So both of them are great. It's just that that's something that they've done. They have created two types of bags or they have separated the types of dust bags for the two types of bags. Alrighty, so this color is chalk. This is a chalk glove tent leather Willis 18, and the style number is the same. It is 89225, and the retail is the same. It's $350. All right. There's lots of packaging that we have to take out. This one is, of course. Lots of packaging. Look, there's one right there. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I love this color already. Um, I, <laughs> I keep taking things out. As you can see, look at that. This is our care cards. Finally, I found some care cards. I'm sure there are in the other bag, in the Bluebell bag, but I just, it's probably in the pocket. They like to put them in their pockets, in the pockets. All right, let's look. Come on. There we go. Oh my goodness, so much packaging. Let's take a look. This is our strap. And I mean everything. When it comes in new, every single thing that sticks out, <laughs> every single thing that's out there is covered in the wrapping. This is our details. Show you the details. And if you hear extra noise, that's my dog chasing the cat. And the hang tag is really nice and cute. And it's also in the color chalk. All right. Let's see. This is the bottom. I don't think I've shown you the bottom of the other bag, but they're all the same. It says genuine glove tint leather. It's outside and on the inside, besides that little pocket that's uh, cotton cloth, cotton fabric. This one is saddle. The lighting here is saddle, the classic saddle color. There we go. Once again, one big pocket, one main compartment, and this is the one that's lined in the cotton fabric. Um, the Creed. Can we do the Creed? 
Whoa. Oh yeah, look at me. I did my makeup today. Can you tell? Let's see. There you go. This is the Creed. I'm trying to show you the style number. I hope it's visible. But there we go. The turn lock closure for authenticity purposes. And you know what there is? There are some fakes out there. And the main um, way to tell if it's fake or not, you can look at the turn lock closure because, you know, they can replicate everything else, including pretty much down to the stitching. But the turn lock is the hardware, and you know, you have to create a mold. Um, or you have to get the specific, the same identical one, and they just can't replicate that quite yet. Let's hope they never will, but the authentic turn lock, you always have to look at the knob. The knob here is, it's rounded off edges. I hope you can tell, rounded off edges. Now the fake ones, I have had the fake one. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. I have mailed it back to the seller. And this knob on the ones that are replica or a fake, they are hard edged. Like all these edges on the actual knob, they are not smoothed out. They are sharp and they are a little bit non-symmetrical, meaning this edge will look different from this edge. Here we have a perfect, well, mostly perfect oval, as perfect as it gets, okay? So that's a really good way of determining whether or not it's a fake coach, actually. That's what I found out. But anyway, so there we go. This is our colored chalk. Let's open the last one. I wonder why they did them like that. They they tied them all on their sides. Usually they tie them up, you know, the right way. Like you open it and it's... Ooh, look at that color. This is uh, pollen. Hold on. No, it's not. It's not the pollen. Please hold. Sunlight. This is the color sunlight. Let me get... Let me get this thing out. Oh, there we go. And that sunlight. Same style number. Retails for $3.50. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this color. Uh, yellow is my favorite color, so yellow and brass hardware. Uh, this, this, this has to be the one right here for me. For me <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> let's take a look so this is the same idea here okay everything else is the same as the other bags let's look at our hang tag the hang tag is the same color is it yes it is brass hardware same sunlight color on both sides okay you know what some fake coach handbags I've seen they're hang tags these little screws you see it's like a which one's the Phillips? You see, I'm not a handy, I'm not a handy lady. But um, this fits the screw, um, whatever I'm trying to say. But this is a flat one, and the fake ones have an X. The ones that are for an X-shaped screwdriver, so those are fake from what I've seen. I have a lot of coach bags, and all of my coach bags have a single line screw like a screw in the hang tag, okay? That might be your other giveaway that your bag might be fake, all right? And here's the rest of it. Now, when they are new, right, new handbags, like straight up new ones, they come, their um, strap is completely wrapped and it's also attached by this plastic, where is it? This plastic through the loop in the bag to the loop on one of these loop attachments. I'm <laughs> being very specific here, but you get the idea, right? Um, this is what the new bags are. This is how they come. So I really like this color. Let's take a look inside and see what the, oh, this is beechwood. 
I am pretty sure this is beech wood, so the lining here is beech wood, okay? If you can tell, it's, it's gorgeous, okay? Here's more of that, it's the same stuff. I'm not even gonna bother taking it all out, but it's all there. <laughs> all the packaging, okay? They, the coach really does put a lot of packaging material into their bags. Ah, there we go, gorgeous. Let me unwrap this one and I will <clears throat> show you how it looks on me and I will also give you the measurements again. Let me go grab my pink measuring tape. and gone for too long you know I don't edit my videos um, but let's see we have seven inches long by what do I what am I looking at six and three quarters tall that's the overall height the handle I, I believe it was like two and a half. Is it two and a half? What do I got? I got three. All right. Whoops. Three inches. Fits my hand. Perfectly. I am 5'2", 135 pounds. Uh, my wrist size is... Uh, six and a half. What is that? Small... I guess. But, and like I said, all, not all, um, two of, out of three bags have that nice burnishing. You can tell, especially here, it's just darkening along all the edges, right? You definitely see it here. In the back, I can't quite, I can barely tell that it's on there, honestly. In the back, you can't even see, maybe like a little bit down here, right? The white, the white one, the chalk one definitely doesn't have it. The chalk one does not have it at all. Nope. The blue one does. Bluebell, the bluebell color. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell it, right? It has it. I think this one does too. You know, they don't mention that on their website. You just kind of have to <laughs> figure it out on your own. But here's this one. So let me take the... Let me take the wrapping off of this. Ah, there we go. You know what? I have scissors with me, right? Take this all the way off. I would really like to. So let me see. Look, I found more stuff to take off. Huh? Beautiful. Okay. I think I need to leave you one more time with all these bags and go get my scissors. So you can go ahead and take a look at all of them. All three of them. I don't even have enough. How can I do this? There we go. There we go. I'll be right back.
All right. While I was gone, one of my little babies woke up. I was hoping to film it while my kids were asleep, but you know, that didn't happen. So my little one's up. I had to go <laughs> open her door for her. Let me see. So let's cut this one, okay? Cut it. Here we go. I'm gonna get this plastic piece out. I love these sleeves that the straps come with. Because I feel like it's really good protection for your strap. You know, it's still glove tint leather. And then, as if it wasn't enough, there's one more. Ooh, there we go. All right, so this bag is just gorgeous. Let me try to take this strap off. I don't want it on here. Took this little nubbin off of here. Oh, wait, I missed one. Mm, goodness. It's going to take me 15 minutes to take everything off, so let's cut this. Okay. And take that off. All right, my kids are my kids are definitely up. Oh, there she is. So factory setting, factory setting for the strap is kind of in the middle. Kind of. In the middle. Okay. And we're going to leave it at that. We're going to try it on now. You can't even see me, can't you? How about now? This is just over the shoulder, okay? Pull you closer. Shh, everybody please be quiet, okay? Mommy is working. <laughs> this bag is gorgeous. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about it. Now, the, the size of the bag itself pretty much means that some of the cell phones will not fit into it. My iPhone 7 Pro, which is six and three quarters with a case on it, it does not fit in here. That did not stop me, however. I have a lot of these. No! Oh, she's dead. Mom, Mom, Winnie wants a ball. It's okay, baby. It's Winnie's toy. That's my dog, Winnie. It's okay, baby. She can eat it. So I have a lot of these. I mean, it's perfect for my frame. It fits a one of those trifold coach wallets. Not it actually will fit the medium because the medium is only five inches wide. Uh, it will definitely fit the small trifold coach wallet or the card case, obviously. Whoa! So what just happened is this opened and the bag fell off. I've read online about people complaining about these clasps, these dog, dog leash clasps opening on their tabbies a lot. I think, I think it depends on how you, how you clasp it. So I, I wonder what happened, but I've had that happen a lot with my Riley. I have a Riley crossbody and it happened a lot with it. Pretty much every time I try to get it out of the car, it will, the strap will just pop off. I don't know what it is, but a lot of different styles of bags with coach and these clasps, something gets, something just gets pushed in the open. So this is what happened right now, okay? There is absolutely nothing wrong with this clasp. Otherwise, absolutely nothing. It's just what they do, okay? Yes, baby. Okay. Yes, go ahead, have snack, babies. And please go play in the other room, okay? I'm busy right now, thank you. All right, crossbody. That's what I think I was trying to do. 
here, let me get myself situated. Here we go. And like I said, since yellow is my favorite color, I think it will go with a lot of uh, clothing that I have. It just, it's so nice to look at, like I love it. The width is really good. I believe it was four inches. Let's do this again. I don't think I ever did this. Uh, I'm having three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half inches. It's a really good width. Okay, go ahead, eat it, please. Go ahead, eat it. Oh, here we go. I thought I could do this in time before the kids wake up, but nope. So the cell phone, the cell phone. Let me put it up to the cell phone. I know the cell phone will not. <laughs> I have to triple check myself. Uh, Width-wise, six and three quarters does not fit. If you stand it up, it also does not fit. I've already tried. I mean, it does kind of, but the, the flap ends up being a little sideways. Like, it pushes it up a little bit. Can you please go play out that way? Thank you. Ava. 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 My little one is two and a half. She does not listen. She doesn't listen much. Can you please go out that way? I'm busy in here, okay? Go. Go. Go eat your chips, baby. Thank you. that one okay so there you have it <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> like crazy crazy hand and all this and that but I know I'm paying too much attention to the yellow but you know I love my yellow so okay here we go come here can you bring it to me please I'll open it for you mm. I wish I had the editing software so all right, now go eat the other chips, please. Don't touch these. Thank you. Nope, go eat the other ones. Beautiful. Once again, let's summarize everything here. Here's the yellow. Here's the chalk. Here's the bluebell. I think bluebell is the perfect... Perfect color to go with denim, don't you think? There they are. <laughs> There's the bluebell. Here's the chalk. I wish you could see my dog right now chasing a little golf ball. <laughs> it's funny. Um, she's making a lot of ruckus too, but. So here's the chalk. I think chalk will be the perfect summer color. I think white is a great neutral for the warmer weather, uh, the weather where you don't have to wear jackets and sweaters. Although, you know what, it will go with the sweaters. Well, I definitely think it's not good for a jacket type of weather, right? But no hoodies, no jackets, no vests, okay? A uh, sweater, cardigan, and dresses, tops, jeans, shorts. This color is perfect. So out of all the three, honestly, I would probably pick this one. Now, I know people might be worrying about the color transfer. Ah, what do I have to say about color transfer? It will happen, okay? This is uh, looks like it's not a smooth and shiny kind of glove tent leather. This one is porous. Can you see? Porous matte type of glove tint leather. So uh, if you wear this with denim, it will show, okay? It will rub off. It will be on there. So you can use uh, leather guard type of sprays. 
I don't know how heavily you, I think you would have to use it pretty heavily because since it's so porous and matte it will take a lot of that product to make it transfer resistant so I wouldn't even use it I would just honestly wear this with dresses anything that's not gonna color transfer like denim denim is notorious for this okay so if you have any tunics tunics or longer tops yes if you have any jeans that you want to wear this bag with honestly i'll probably choose something else some kind of other my dog is going crazy um <laughs> some kind of other type of uh, finish like saffiano coach cross grain leather okay coated canvas by coach something that's shiny or slippery something that's not gonna transfer into um this leather okay otherwise like what I'm, I have, this is a um, dress from uh, H&M from summer 2019. And I mean, there's going to be no color transfer with this. I can still wear my denim jeggings, <laughs> right? My uh, Spanx. I love my Spanx. I wear a size medium. Spanx um, assets. I get them at Target. The assets tights. They have black ones and they have the denim colored ones so my size is medium okay this is me medium like i said size i'm a size six uh five two hundred and thirty five pounds so anyway so you can wear that under your dress right there will be no color transfer obviously so something like that but highly recommend this color right here out of all the three okay and this is my yellow my favorite yellow i even unpackaged it first because you know this is gonna get a lot of use just because this is my perfect color so I feel like a lot of uh, items in my wardrobe will go with this color and if they don't well too bad because I like this color and I'm gonna wear this bag a lot okay the other two I'm not quite sure yet okay because I have a lot of coach bags you have no idea I may actually keep them all because I feel like this is the perfect um, mixture between casual and classy and dressy the style the style of the bag so whatever you wear it with besides the sweatpants my favorite sweatpants and athletic wear okay do not wear this with athletic wear um but yeah it will go with everything there we go how to line them up but there they are all of them all of my beauties there we go all right guys i think i'm done if you have any questions just let me know down below thank you